So let's say you want to add some space in here. And if you come in here and if you try to add some space, let's say right here, if I hit enter a few times, it looks like there's some space. I hit save, it shows up right there. If I go to preview, let's see if this loads. You'll see the space wasn't added. And so a simple way to do this would be to actually add an empty space. So what I would do is I would duplicate this. So now you have two. So you would come in here and figure out where you want to split it up. So I'm going to split it up right here. So I'm going to delete all this. Save. So now I have this first part of this paragraph. So now I'm going to delete it from sport in this one. Click save. And so now I have these two things. So now what I can do is I can actually come in here to the empty space. I'm going to duplicate this, drag this here, and then control this with, you know, I'll put it as 20 pixels. So now if I come over here and click preview, you'll see there will be a space in between sport right here. Nice and perfect. And so you can see that I can make this as big or as small as I want by editing this. So now that I hit 50, this space will get about twice as big. And there you, go, there you have it. So the easiest way to do that would be to just break up the text, add some empty space, and you'll be on your way. Another thing you could do is if you wanted a separator, you'll see we have some lines. And so what that looks like is you'll see this very, very faint line right here. So you can always use that as well. And you can access these by actually clicking this plus, but this might be overwhelming. So the easiest way to do it and what we've already configured for your site is just to duplicate the items. And if you duplicate it and if you don't want it, you can always just hit delete. So that is how you would add space in text in general within any of Slam's websites that have the page builder. And if you don't see this page builder, if it looks like a bunch of text, then that means you are in classic view and so what you'll want to do is click backend editor to access this page builder. Hope that helped. Let us know if you need anything else.